Hi everybody, this is Lindsay from WindingRoadCrochet.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to hand sew a liner to a blanket. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. So in this tutorial, I'm just using one of my sample swatches that I use when I make border tutorials. And I'm going to be sewing a very small piece of fabric onto this, but this whole process works just as well for if you're lining a bag or if you're lining a larger blanket. So you can see that I've already pinned it here. Everything is ready to go and we just need to sew the liner in. If you want to know all the steps for lining a blanket, I do have a tutorial for that as well. And I will link it up here for you to check that one out. But that does show you how to sew with a sewing machine. So in this one, we are going to see how to hand sew the liner to our crochet project. To sew fabric onto crochet, you are going to need a sewing needle and some thread. And you are going to need a needle that is sharp enough that it will pierce the fabric. So a yarn needle will not work in this situation. So in this small sample, I did use straight pins to pin everything in place. But if you're doing a large blanket, I highly recommend using safety pins as they will hold everything in place and you won't lose any on the floor while you're moving your blanket around. So here I have put my thread through my needle and the thread is doubled all the way up until the end. And at the end, I tied two or three large knots. It's really hard to see just because it is white. But now we are ready to go ahead and start sewing. So to get started, you're gonna wanna go underneath the edge of the fabric way down here, put your needle through and then come out Probably a corner is going to be the easiest part. And we're doing this so that we can hide our knot down underneath the liner. So once you have that finished, we're ready to go ahead and start sewing. The first stitch I'm showing you is kind of like a running stitch. You're going to go down through your fabric. You're going to go through just halfway through a yellow stitch. So you're not going all the way to the front of the fabric. You're just going halfway through that stitch and then you're going to come back up through your fabric and then pull your thread all the way through. And if I call the thread yarn, it's just because I'm a crocheter at heart here. So it might happen. I'm going to make a teeny tiny stitch on the top side of the fabric. And then I am going to go through that center of the next yellow stitch and then turn my needle and come back up through the fabric. So when we're working through the yellow, we're making like a quarter inch stitch, but then we're working down from the top of the fabric. We're just making the smallest of stitches. So there's not really going to be a lot of thread on the top side of the fabric. So again, another really small stitch. We're going to go halfway through, through the very middle of that yellow stitch, turn our needle, and then come back up through the fabric and then pull on your thread. And there we go. So I've worked a few more stitches and on the back side, you can see there's absolutely nothing of our stitch work. And on the front side, you just have these cute little dimples where we've made our top stitches. So it's very discreet. Now I'm going to show you another stitch. And in this stitch, we are going to pull out right on that fold. So we've came out right at the top of that fold. And then basically it's the same process. We're going to go through the center of that yellow stitch, pull that all the way through, trying not to get hooked on your straight pins, pull that through. And then we're going to go back down into the fold. Just try to go through one layer of fabric, go down to the fold and then come back out of the fold, making a small stitch right at that fold. And then moving to the next yellow stitch, we're going to go straight through the center. and then back into the fold of the fabric. And simply by changing where we're doing the stitches on the fabric, 
we're going to make this completely invisible. So back through the center of the next yellow stitch, down into that fold, back up from that fold, and then through the next stitch. And you just keep repeating this all the way around. And again, this will be invisible on the top side and on the bottom side. I do think it's a little bit slower, but it is completely invisible. So you can definitely pick the stitch that works best for you. You can either have those cute little dimples along the top, or you can have a completely invisible stitch. Now before we go, I want to show you one more thing, and that is how to finish off when you are done sewing. So here I've decided to finish off and I am going to push my needle to the back side of the fabric, pull tight, and then I am going to knot my thread. And when I knot it, I really wanna make sure that the knot is as close to the inside of the fabric as possible. So I'm going to knot it a second time just for security sake. And then I'm going to pull it real slow, kind of reposition everything, hold on to that thread, pull real slow so I can get my knot as close as I can to the fabric. And so once it is there, you are just gonna take your needle down from the back side of the fabric, go into the little bit into the center of the fabric, pull your needle tight, almost like you're weaving in an end with amigurumi pull it tight there and then you can clip it off and it will be hidden on the inside, just like we did on that first corner. So I really hope you liked this tutorial and that it helped you out a bit. And as always, thank you so much for watching.